you want to quickly tell people what Fear Free, the program is all about, Dr. Lisa? Yeah. So Fear Free is an actual company, right? And they certify veterinarians and veterinary technicians and groomers and trainers. So if you're looking for someone who is Fear Free certified, you can go to fearfreehappyhomes.com. But the Fear Free mentality is to recognize that animals have emotions and that those emotions affect their quality of life, sometimes in negative ways, and to guide our interactions with our pets in every aspect of their lives with a fear-free foundation. So fearfreehappyhomes.com has tons. I like, you can tell I like the word free, tons of free resources that are (laughs) really, really Good. So the book that we wrote together, Marty and Wailani Sung, Mikkel Becker and I, is it's kind of like that manual. It's readable. It's yeah. got pictures. It's got handouts. So you have a good foundation as to lot. how to start. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I have at least four or more books sitting on my bookshelf right now. At least four. At least. Well, I keep I writing. I need to write a book. You do. Yes. <laughs> you got everything. And that's a good transition, uh, Mindy, because like Dr. Lisa, Mindy, like Dr. Lisa, I know that you have a lot of credentials. I know you both grew up with a love of all kinds of animals, sentient beings, even an injured red tailed hawk, I guess, as a little kid. So I want to ask uh, you, Mindy, you've got degrees, you've got certifications. What makes you be in this line of, of, of help for people and their pets? This particular behavior or no, animals in particular? Field. Animals. Yeah. Animals. So, in so, you know, Lisa was talking about hard wiring, right? Mm-hmm. So I think most of us that are in any animal business grew up hardwired to be just drawn to animals. When I grew up in the city, well, just outside the city, this is going to sound really strange, but I didn't. uh, Queens, New York. So I didn't have a lot of access to animals. My parents didn't grow up with animals. I didn't have a pet. This may surprise you. My first pet was an earthworm. That, Did you? That's how much I know. That's how much I was desperate for some kind of pet. It was an earthworm. After that, my parents felt sorry for me, and I got a hamster. So there you go. But uh, I got into the field uh, because it was natural. I was. I started with my husband, who's a veterinarian, in an animal hospital, which we had for decades. A very large animal hospital in Jupiter, Florida, and I ran it. I was the hospital administrator. And I slowly began to become much more interested in behavior. And that became a huge calling for me. And uh, so I, I started work in that. I got two certifications as a professional dog trainer from one of the most accepted uh, certification uh, associations. And Lisa and I, you know, Lisa is my mentor. I also learned a ton about behavior from Lisa. And we worked together, as as, uh, she's mentioned, uh, on a reactive dog class, in-person class. And it's from that that we decided to make it online to reach more people because we realized our classes were constantly packed with a waiting list. And we realized it was such a huge issue that we it, got together to put and it online. Dive, yeah, before we dive in more about reactivity, uh, Dr. Lisa, it, it's great to have a, t- a partner, isn't it? Because this is a, you're covering a lot in, in a behavior, but tell us your your connection to to Mindy and how the two of you are a stronger force. Yeah, so I don't remember how we met, probably through Harmony, probably through the animal hospital that Mindy and Dave, her husband, um, owned. But what I will go to is the collaboration, because I also want to remind people of how to look for a a dog training professional. And this collaboration to me is a big kind of plus for dog training professionals. So I don't want to surround myself with yes people. And Mindy is not a yes person. As my friend, if I come for personal advice, 
or as a, a behavior right. professional. So we throw ideas off each other and we question each other and we make each other think, is that true? What we believe to be true? Because a lot of times in life, boy, we believe something to be true and find out it's not. And so we really question each other. And from there blooms ideas. What would you do with that dog? What did you see? Well, I saw this. Oh, my back was turned. I didn't see that. What did the pet parent do? Having a partner just makes everything better. And I did a series of how to find a good dog trained professional on my Instagram and Facebook, which is at Dr. Lisa Rodasta. We've made that into a YouTube video that also has a blog, which you can find on the realdognerds.com. And one of the things I talked about was collaboration. We want to choose dog training professionals, whether reactivity or otherwise, that are willing to refer. So when you, yes, when you, let's say that you are to take our course, you may also want to have a dog training professional come once a month and watch you in person. Let's just say you want to do that. That dog training professional maybe can take you all the way, or she might reach the limits of her knowledge. We want her or him or they to be able to say, there's another person that I feel comfortable mm-hmm. referring you to. To me, that is one of the criteria of hiring any professional as that I stay in my lane, right? I don't do I surgery. I'm a psychiatrist. I refer. I want the same thing in a dog training professional so that you know that they will kind of collaborate with others, which is only going to be better for your dog. And, you know, I am a master instructor in pet first aid, but I'm not a veterinarian and I don't play one on TV. And I see what my lane is and I see what you're saying there. So in my classes, people learn what to do when O happens to render aid right there and to safely transport that pet to the nearest veterinary clinic. And I think what you're saying too is it takes a village and we shouldn't be guilting ourselves if we have a reactive dog. And the other thing I'm hearing from you is don't be taking anybody's advice. Joe Bob Billy, there you go. And if your name is Joe Bob Billy out there, nothing against you, nothing (laughs) against you, you know. But what I'm saying is I I don't want to take advice I want to take guidance and coaching from people like Dr. Lisa and Mindy that have been schooled in these areas. And and I think that's really important. 